Hey guys, Steve Williams here, and today I'm going to show you how to change the batteries on your smart oil gauge. So first thing, you need to know that the smart oil gauge does not take regular AA batteries. It actually takes these batteries, they're made by SAFT, and they're called the LS14500. They're a lithium AA, so they're actually a higher voltage than the regular AA's. So if you just try to use a regular pair of Duracells that you have in a drawer somewhere, they're not gonna have enough voltage to power the smart oil gauge. So make sure you get the right batteries, that's the first step. And really changing it was super easy. You put in the new batteries, you turn the device back on, you don't need to reconfigure it to Wi-Fi, it should just automatically reconnect. So how do you know when it's time to change your batteries? So in the smart oil gauge app, you'll always see your current level, you'll see the last time it took a reading, and you'll see the battery level. So the battery levels are excellent, good, fair, and poor. If your battery is reading fair or poor, that's when you want to think about replacing the batteries. So at the very least, if it gets down to fair, if it gets down to poor, that's when you order batteries, then you have them, and when the gauge actually stops working, that's when you replace the battery. The other thing you can do is configure an alert. So in your app, you've got your notifications. So in my particular case, I've got two notifications set. I've got email for non-reporting sensor and email for low battery. So the way I manage mine is when I get the email for low battery, I order the batteries. When I get the email for non-reporting sensor, that means my sensor has been offline for a few days and it's definitely time to change the batteries. Once I've got the correct batteries, then it's time to go down to the tank and change the batteries. All right, so now that we've got the proper batteries, it's time to change them on the smart oil gauge. The nice thing is you don't need to remove it from the tank. You just come down, you remove this white cap, and inside the device, you'll see two wires going to the battery box. So on the battery box, you gently take it out. You'll see that we tell you exactly what type of batteries to use. If you've got an earlier unit that has a screw in here, you can take that screw out and just discard it. On the other side of the box, you'll see an on and off switch. You want to switch that to the off position. And then look for these little thumb grips. So these little ribs here allow you to slide this battery box cover off and expose the batteries. Now you see the battery is a little bit tight. So what I like to do is use the corner of this cover to just pop these batteries out. So I have one out, put it to the side, then I take the second out, and then we're ready to put in our new batteries. So we take our new batteries, put them in here, make sure they're nice and snug. Then we're going to line up this cover onto the battery box. I like to sort of snap it in place like that and then slide it closed until it clicks. All right, so we got that latched. Now the last step is we're going to turn this on. And when we do that, we're going to watch for the red light on top of the circuit board. This is gonna tell us that we've got a good connection and we're ready to go. So I'm gonna turn it on. You saw the red light come on. So now we're good to go. What you can do now is check your app, hit the little refresh button and look for a new reading. You should see a new reading that came through within the last minute. And that tells you that you've got your new batteries in. It has successfully connected to Wi-Fi and uploaded a new reading to the cloud. If you don't see a new reading and you don't see that red light, I would just recommend sliding that open again, popping the batteries out, putting them back in, making sure they're properly seated, and then turning it on and checking for a new rating, and then you should be good to go.